Hey guys, it's Victor here. New Mexico is one of the earliest states to be settled by Europeans and in 1610, the Spanish established Santa Fe. As conquerors usually do, they enslaved and oppressed the native people, constructing churches to disrupt local traditions. A medicine man named Pope led one of America's first revolutions to remove the Spaniards from their home. After the revolt, most churches were destroyed and native traditions were restored. Back in March, Deidre and I visited one of these churches in Pecos. Visiting the National Park in Pecos was a surprise. I just thought it was going to be not as pretty as it was. Pecos is in the middle, like it's in a valley, and if you look 360 degrees around you, there's a mountain range surrounding you. So it, it was very different of terrain, which made me like it more. Being a national park, it was very peaceful. It, in a lot of aspects, it's much prettier than Santa Fe, but it's very rural and Pecos is a lot more greener than you would think. So at Pecos, there's this small trail loop that we took, um, and then you can see the remnants of the church that was destroyed, and also the civilization that was there before the Spanish colonized. It was a very nice walk, and we only did one loop, but the park itself, the Pecos National Park itself, was much bigger. I also learned that the Native Americans would transport water by balancing gourds on their head, which, which I only thought was African, and that might just be my ignorance, but that was something new for me. The Spanish came back in 1692 to recolonize New Mexico for a second time. In 1838, the Pecos people up and moved and settled in Jemez. And in 1936, both Pecos and Jemez were legally merged as one by an act of Congress. Hey, if you like this video, please let me know down below in the comments, like the video, and don't forget, most importantly, to subscribe. Thanks for watching.